The Gemini 810 and 980 Diode Soft Tissue Laser Kit comes with everything you need to get started. Please read thoroughly the Instructions for Use booklet contained in the kit before proceeding. As you unpack, make certain you have all the contents necessary for operation. Inside the box, you will find the warranty card, instructions for use, training voucher, laser unit and handpiece, foot pedal, three sets of protective eyewear, power supply, and tips. Please read the IFU thoroughly as it contains critical information related to this device. Once the contents are unpacked, go ahead and plug in your laser to a power supply. Note that nothing will be displayed indicating power to the unit. Place the foot pedal on the floor and open the box of tips. Take one tip from the bag and remove the small plastic protector from the proximal end. Be careful not to touch this area with your fingers as any contaminant could interfere with the laser. Gently screw on the tip to the metal handpiece. Take the black bending tool and align with the tip. Turn the tip until it reaches approximately a 90 degree angle. You will notice that the tip is pre-initiated and ready for use. Take care in handling the laser unit and only carry it by the base pedestal. Press the on-off button in the front right hand corner to turn on the laser. It will immediately ask for a passcode. That code is Arrow up, arrow down, arrow up, arrow down. Please select wavelength. Next, you will select the desired wavelength, 810, 980, or dual. dual wavelength. Stand you by. can then adjust your power setting manually or select your procedure from the list of preset procedures. General Dentistry. Once toggled to your power setting or preset procedure, Hit the active standby button in the middle of the touch keypad. Gingivectomy active. Note that with the Gemini in active mode, it will fire on a depressed foot pedal. Without touching the foot pedal, the tip and laser are not firing. To adjust tip illumination, simply press the tip illumination button which toggles between low, high, and disabled. To adjust the aiming light, press the aiming light button and use the up and down arrows to select the desired intensity of the aiming light. Please note that the aiming light is not the laser. It is an additional LED light that helps the operator direct the tip to the desired location. The sound button also allows the user to arrow up or down based on the preferred sound output. Voice confirmation disabled. The voice confirmation button voice toggles confirmation between enabled, enabled and disabled to your preference. At any time, the laser can be turned off by the stop button in the lower left-hand corner. The unit can be unplugged and on a full charge will last approximately 90 minutes. The battery indicator in the upper right-hand corner will display the current status.